February 22nd is National Margarita Day, but it seems like Americans can manage to make every day Margarita Day. The classic drink was invented in 1948, and for years it's now been one of the most popular drinks in America. For tips on how to make the margarita at home, we're joined by famed mixologist and author of craft cocktails, by Brian Van Flandern. Hi, Brian. Hello, hello. All right, so let's start with the do's and don'ts for your own margarita at home. What do we need to know? Well, you think it would be simple. It's the easiest cocktail to make, to make and the easiest one to mess up. You have to use fresh squeezed lime juice. So important. Fresh is critical. People always, uh, well, they'll spring a little bit more for good tequila because we know that good tequila is going to make a big difference. But the most overlooked thing is triple sec. Uh, that's the, the orange flavor liqueur. And most people, they go for a cheap one, and you really need a high quality triple sec with a high quality tequila. It makes all the difference in the world. And I assume you don't want that sour mix anywhere near your no, version of a margarita. No. Uh, I prefer cane sugar, or in this case, in, in, in this triple sec, we're using beet sugar. Uh, Quantra uses beet sugar, and it's much superior. It just has a cleaner finish to it. Now, let's say we're looking to spice up our margarita a little bit. What can we do on that front? Well, in addition to our traditional ingredients, you can always use a little chipotle chili powder. I actually made one uh, here with a little chipotle chili and sugar rim. And it has jalapenos. So that's yes, a little slice pack. Well, yeah, it's not for the faint of heart. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> um, you can also uh, use... Um, uh, if you want to try something a little daring, use a little hint of mezcal. That's becoming into vogue right now. It's like a tequila, but a little bit more smoky. It has a little smoky richness to it. It's really quite tasty. Yeah. All right, so what margarita do you want to make for us today? Well, I want to make our classic. Okay. I mean, come on, there's nothing like the great... Don't forget, Americans drink 185,000 margaritas per hour in this country. So it's the number one ordered cocktail. Not vodka, not rum. We'd like our tequila and, tri and triple sec. This one, we're using... Uh, I think I'm going to use a little fresh squeezed lime juice here. I'm going to be generous with that. Okay. A nice 100% uh, agave tequila. That's the key. You want to find on the label, it says 100% agave. This one's from the Highlands of Jalisco and is one of my favorites. And then a really high quality triple sec. The original margarita that you were just talking about in 1948, Marguerite Samez uh, used the uh, Cointreau in there. And that, again, it's an orange flavored liqueur. So about one part Cointreau, which is about 40% alcohol by volume, uh, one part, um, uh, two parts, uh, tequila and one part lime juice. Then of course we're going to add our ice. Don't be shy with the ice. We pour our drink in there. Get a nice firm seal on there. And then as we say, shake it, don't fake it, and <laughs> okay. smile, right? Well, I've done this before. It's not my first rodeo. <laughs> Now, once you've made the cocktail, you always want to taste it for balance for your guests. But uh, I've been making them for a while, so I'm pretty sure this one tastes pretty good. Yeah, I think I trust your judgment on this one. Excellent. And you'll notice I've added a little bit of salt to the rim, but I only rimmed half of the uh, glass with salt because some of our guests like salt and some don't. Uh, I, personally, I personally, if I'm going to use salt, I use a nice high quality sea salt or like a black lava salt or even a red clay salt if you want to get really creative. So you can even spice up the salt rim if you Absolutely. want to press your All right, I like that. Yeah. So now we have two beautiful cocktails. And I always make them a tiny bit sweet so that you can use this nice fresh lime wedge and squeeze it in there to tarten it up to your particular flavor. So. Let's give it a taste. Happy uh, National Margarita Day. Happy National Margarita Day. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's really good. Works for me. <laughs> no, no sour mix in there. So what if you want to add some other kinds of fruits to your margarita? Any suggestions there? Absolutely. You can use fresh mangoes. Uh, you know, obviously strawberries are a good standby. Really what's really hot right now is passion fruit. Oh, passion fruit margaritas are delicious. And uh, you can even use cucumber with jalapeno or cilantro. Delicious. All, y y there's no limit. Mixology is all the rage. All right, we've had it, we have it down. We can impress our friends tomorrow. Brian, thanks for being here. Always a pleasure.